Hi, welcome. This uh, tutorial is about Antergos and Antergos Open Box. We are working on a proper SSD, not in a virtual box. And I just want to point out that it's interesting to show and, and to figure out how the Tint works. Tint uh, is an, actually a tool you can use. So it's the thing under here, the panel that's under here, and you can configure it, configure Tint2 uh, as well with via graphic user interface. This is the graphical user interface, or you can just read the file and try to do it like that. But um, I just want to, to go over some things I've changed, I figured out recently, and what the layout is at this time and point in time. So it will probably differ for from tomorrow and in a week time next month and so on so you can change your colors depending on what state you're in so this is the panel color if you want to have another kind of color or tooltips or urgent task you can change these here so the global uh, coloring let's say and then there's a panel so this panel we call this a tint 2 panel where do you want it the bottom in the middle the top so I've now chosen to go to the bottom. You can show it on just one um, screen and maybe that's a good thing to do so. So you can see that indeed there is more information on the panel than just uh, what you saw. So if you have two screens, multiple screens, dual screen, then it goes to the other screen at this point in time and nothing is here. So it depends what you want or all apply and then you have this version primary monitor first apply and that's um, so you have to figure it out you have just to click and apply and check what happens so length is 100 percent size is 30 pixels height uh, maybe you'd like some margin as well apply and you have one pixel horizontal and vertical margin so these little things you can change them scroll down there is more to see there's a lot more to see when you're just having the panel how many padding do you want for the vertical and horizontal I'm gonna take two by two everywhere so I know still what I do font shadows since I have a black background I don't think a shadow will benefit anything mouse effects is interesting if you want to do something with the mouse here so it just waits and then it says clickable interface items change appearance when the mouse is moved over them so as you can see it's gonna be brighter and that's due to my settings icon opacity hovered 100 saturation 0 brightness 50 pressed and so on so you can change all these I don't want to auto hide I want it to be there all the time so I'm not gonna do anything about it and then you go to the panel items this is the taskbar this is this here the system tray is on, on the other screen now it's all the icon uh, icon uh, tray icons from variety from Dropbox from Bluetooth and all that and then we have the clock so you can get more if you want to I specifically do not want launcher so launcher is Firefox and uh, sublime text and gimp and all that so launch applications I have that here and I have that also in my shortcuts my keyboard shortcuts so I don't want more any more pollution than I than I have already and then taskbar show a taskbar for each desktop so this here um, I've been thinking about how to do it as you can see it's no longer named desktop 1 and desktop 2 you can do so in the obconf and I've decided to give them the names desktop names 1 and 2 uh, good I have come here As extra space close so that's that um, so this taskbar is shown now for each desktop distribute size between taskbars no sorting text alignment some padding as well here why not keep it the same apply see what happens 
and then you can scroll don't forget desktop name show the desktop name or don't show the desktop name I f do find it helps if you have more than one desktop so I can switch between this one and this one here you can equally distribute space yeah there's this one do try them out it depends probably from day to day but here are all the possibilities I have changed active font to an inactive font so this is dark because of this setting here changed it to orange and to red but that was too too heavy so I've changed it back to white and dark gray easier for the eyes task buttons quite interesting to see what this can do you can left click it toggle or canify but you can also right click it and it's going to close so everything that's on here I can close it with a right click which I'm not gonna do you want to show the icon or not show text or not center text and so on all these don't forget to scroll are in here like I said I don't want the launchers so it's empty the clock I've changed the clock I don't want it to be on top of each other, I want it behind each other. So I've just set everything in one line. First line format, second line is non-existent with me, for me. Here there was also another program inside, then don't know what it was again. Uh, Orage or something, something French-like. So red, right mouse click or left click is for me the same. Just show me the calendar, the simple calendar. Of course, you should sudo pacman minus s g simple calendar, otherwise, you won't see anything. So, that's that, and always going for the same fonts and size. System tray monitor 2 now, monitor 1, apply. There's my system tray, so I can choose where I want to put it. All the padding and the sizes and so on battery I'm on the desktop so I don't care and then tooltips the background for tooltip show delay high delay padding as well and the font the font not all sans 12 apply again uh, a fix during my tutorial so I only can suggest to you do take a look at it I was um, present I was surprised that Tin 2 has so many uh, possibilities to tune it. I even found some things I cannot do, <laughs> that's always the case with these tools. So anyway, I'm, I'm really, um, well, a fan. I became a fan of Tin 2. The other alternative is to install XFCE4 uh, dash panel, and you can change some things there as well. But um, I do believe we have lots of possibilities here with this edit theme button here that we can change a lot of things, uh, customize the look and all that. Enjoy using Tint 2.